this game won't write itself. So let's get going. Generator is here in yeah, I do. Right then. Do I have to actually do a thing here? Oh. 
Let's back it off. Now,
Okay. No. It's a two fifty here. Let's roll it off. Hey, Merrick, what's going on, buddy? <clears throat> I am, I'm doing okay. I'm currently refactoring which, well, okay, I'm sorry. Working on this one, crafting metal tools happens at the, at the furnace, not the workbench, because that made more sense to me. How are your game or games going? Are they going anywhere? Have you got something going? Ooh. And of course, it's time to do all of this vertical aligning because F sharp, right? You got to do it. Don't have to do it. Oh, don't use tab. Why am I writing games and why have sharp tools? Don't I like these questions? They are very good questions. Um, it's kind of hard to answer. Well, the, why am I writing games? Um, perhaps you say, I am writing games because I don't know how to not write games. It's it's such a such a thing that I've done done since I was very young that I pretty much always I like I just like writing them. Yeah, this one I don't I don't have to make money on it. It's something I enjoy doing. And then why F sharp is um No, I, I know plenty of languages. I know Lua, I know C sharp, I know C plus plus. Um and, and I know JavaScript. I know enough Python that I could write a game. So why F Sharp? Uh, one, it's a full-on .NET language, so I can interoperate with things like, if I have, some, I've, I can interoperate with C Sharp things. Um, not always easily, because F Sharp. And it's not easy. I I work I work primarily in C sharp at my job. 
and C sharp is easy. So I like to do things that are difficult. Does that answer your question? Them a knife. And actually, I fear that this is going to become a not completely F sharp project because I suspect that if I make a C sharp wrapper around the whole thing. I can publish the C sharp wrapper, but there's really nothing for publishing um, anything in F sharp. Because, as always, F sharp tooling lags behind. Okay. Static number private add input. Which is takes Well, and they're fun, I guess. Thinking about it some more. Because they're fun. And for me, there's no better way to learn something or teach something than to use. Um, use games. Games are the best way of doing stuff. Just be uh, with input. That. I don't really have any things in inventory, do I? Add item count. Yeah, I do. I got walls input equals recipe dot input dot add item count. Do I do item then count? I do item then count. Perfect. Perfect. Because now 
weirdly. That's going to be... Ugh. Because now I want... Okay, so that one's got done. That one got dead. Crafting metal happens at the furnace. Okay, you. Use hammers. So now, for the copper... able to sit p dot add input item hammer and a tool Ugh. it's just be silly and a tool tool dot hammer um and made out of wood tool material wood I just need one more and one you tool up time so Okay. So this, yeah, this conflagrates it quite a bit. Oh, no, thank you. oh, I'm pushing on F-sharp because this language is a good choice for programming logic like Haskell. And I can easily connect them to Unity or Mono game and play puzzle games, and I think this is a good combination. I'm not, okay, so Lua and Kronos to A, but the future of Kronos unknown. Well, and also, um... Lua, okay, well, it's okay, like, in Lua, I've used, uh, I've even got it here, somewhere, yeah, Zero Brain, I've used, I've used the Zero Brain IDE for various Lua things, um, Lua's very sloppy, Lua's a very sloppy, it, it's about as sloppy as, like, JavaScript, and while this thing, this thing has a debugger in it, it's not great. And also in Lua, you can attach anything to anything, anytime. So it's that doesn't make it a bad language. That just means it doesn't help you with your discipline at all. So yeah, so so in between the two, because Haskell, with its with its insistence on purity, would be. Uh, Would be too much, I think. Okay, that's cool. All right. No, that sharp is a It's a fine choice. Yes. The yes. I, I like the way you put it. When program growing, hard times coming. I'm going to write that down at work. Because <laughs> it's good. And that's... The, the maintenance just goes through the roof. So my only question, the only question for myself is, do I be, do I be the jerk? I think I, I think I do. I like it better as program growing. Just, I have, I have preferences. Of course, I also have do the needful written at work. So maybe I'm a strange person.
Yeah, okay. Watch this. Oh, although F sharp in Unity, you can build libraries for it, but you can't debug in Unity. At least that's my understanding. Maybe there is a way. But so yes, you can get F sharp into Unity, but but it's a pain in the butt. Okay, now I'm going to be. <clears throat> Nope, these have to be. These are wrong. My materials are wrong. Let's roll. And unobtainium. I'm also going to get these. Let's roll. Let's roll. Let's roll. Let's roll. I spend more time doing this garbage than anything else. But at least this is on content, right? Who doesn't want an unobtainium whatever? This pig. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Only, only the D, only the DLLs, and that's a so that's that's an extra hassle that <clears throat> maybe you just do it in Visual Studio with mono with mono game. Instead of taking on the extra step, unless you can find a way to automate it, then it might not be so bad. Because there's a good way that it doesn't get in your way too much, then it's less of a problem. So now I'm going to be a complete jerk and say that if you want to make a bronze anything, you you need a copper hammer. And if you want to make if you want to make an iron anything. You need a bronze hammer. If you want to make a mithril something, you need an iron hammer. <laughs> um. But I suppose you can also use anything higher than that, right? Oh, that's good. Okay. I think I'm going to get this right in one place and then copy pasta it elsewhere. All right. So, copper, brown, iron, metro, unobtainium. For iron, I need bronze, 
iron, nitrile, titanium. Transfer the transfer this one. Copper, bronze, iron, nitrile, and titanium. And this is now at a ridiculous level. This is way too much. So this is no good. So yeah, that's insane. But why? Why would I? No, no. Ugh. All right. Well, I guess it. Will work for okay. Uh, don't care for this at all. I don't care for this one bit. Oh, let me get the yuck. So, really, I should be able to condense this down with. So these three are these three are actually fine, but the rest of these. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna leave it for now. Because I think I'm done. Hope I'm done. That's a little on the ridiculous side for the number of ways that you can craft this. The spears, these are spears. Shovels. Because I'm not against I'm not against having complexity in the crafting. I'm I'm against this level of complexity here. Land them on knives. So that's that's a pain in the butt, isn't it? Even even the hammers. You're gonna have to have hammers to make hammers. Yo dog, I heard you like hammers. 
So I'm making you have hammers to make your hammers. But more importantly, it uh, so your so your tech tree is a little more complicated. Good times. All right. I uh, think I should try it. Pretty sure I should try it. Pretty sure I should see that we still work. Pretty sure I should build. Yeah, it looks like it builds. And when it builds, it works. Okay. Good night. Let's build me one of them. Fix me that. One of them. Got one of them. Do I have a rock nearby? Do I have any sort of ore nearby? Haha, <laughs> nice. So I think I've got enough here. Some more of that. Yep, I need a hammer. Okay, hammer's way down here. See, how can you even make a manual for this? This this is like... I can make, I can make the copper things! Yay! How lovely is that? It works. Made me a copper axe. Can I use a copper axe? No, I'm of a verb for it. It's okay. Well, time to put in the verbs. Time to put in the verbs for using our copper materials. <sighs> that the tool is okay, so down here. <clears throat> okay, time to put these in there. The copper, bronze, iron, metal, automation. Then I also need the colors associated with them. And three, four, five. <clears throat> then I'll copy pasta on there. Oh, by the way, yesterday release, which I put on GitHub, works on PC, but now uh, I did not get the game rules. And that is, yeah, yeah, that's a uh, complex. So that's why I have um, 
over here I'm working on it so at least there's the scroll but yeah it's it's a yeah how to play the stupid game it's I I how to play the stupid game is hard because it's like okay it gives you gives you no in-game help at all this at least gives you these are what the controls are and this gives at least some level of guidance as far as the well when I'm these are the keys and these are when I'm in the navigation screen the inventory screen or the crafting screen a rough guideline yeah it's complicated and <laughs> it's complicated and that's not good and I think I've got I think I got a link down down that way with uh, a link to the wiki I think and so I have to work on I have to really work on this because otherwise people are like I don't know what to do It'd maybe make like a YouTube, maybe make a YouTube video of here's the basics of how to play. It would not be, that would not be the worst thing in the world for me to do. <sighs> and I need these colors. Let's fill my tool material colors. Copper, medium copper. So let's let's grab you. Work. Well, it kind of works. Okay, that's well. There's other usages. Oh, my picks. These are all ones. Shovels. Here's the thing. Truth be told, I'm really bad at writing documentation. Maybe I should write some now. Maybe that would be a good use after I get this in here. And explain it, even maybe explain it on stream a bit. Maybe a little dull, or it might be informative as to well, how do you how do you play this stupid game? And let's see, how should one do this? All right. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm going to move you. Well, I'm going to move this. It's really built for um, Xbox 360 controller. That's how it's built for. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm not doing this. Uh, I'll do that when I make the video, I think. Oh. 
Okay, you can see me. Yeah, one of these days I will make make it with both, like the keyboard and with the game controller. It's really built for the game controller, but you could, I've also got keyboard equivalents. So let's take a look right quick. Do I? Okay, I got some berries in the area, so that's something. See, do you remember when? Do you remember when Minecraft was like impossible to play? There was absolutely nothing. Hey, Thompson's here. What's going on, dude? How's Japan? Let's see. Uh, it's uh, or Konbanwa. Yeah, this one is it is much. It's also a mono game, and a game like this game like this is best for a game controller. And every everything, almost everything, in A B X Y Z, or A B and X Y, and so I made one. So okay, uh, on the crafting screen, the A button crafts one. The inventory screen, which you get to with red, is this, and you exit with red. Crafting is Y, and exits with Y. Uh, either the left stick or the D-pad will move you up. And then the, uh, these are moved with, what you can do is move with the shoulders. And then it's the X button to do. If I have a berry in my hand and I want to eat it, this is kind of based on the Stardew control. If you want, if you have a tool and you want to interact with whatever you're pointing to, that's the X. But and I don't have any, I don't have anything to eat at the moment. But that would be A. But yeah, I need I need to make a video. Furnace. Get so made. Oop, what I don't want what I need now. I need one of these. Now see, now I've got a berry, which adds energy. You need to have to eat, so there's there's the uh, little, at the top there's the purple thing. It's actually a stomach. I, I, <laughs> in 8x8 pixel art, that's a stomach. Uh, you have to have meat in order to fill up your stomach, but you can, you can get energy with berries. And I made fire into an item, which has its own weird sense that it makes, I suppose. I'm going to make my copper ingots, finally. And I've got, but I need more wood. And because of what we've what I've done today, because I'm a bit of a jerk now. I'll make a flip one. That'd be nice. Is that I need a hammer to make the metal tools. 
and depending on which metal tool it is, I need a different type of need uh, increasingly difficult hammers. So yeah, that's a pain in the butt. See, I'm, I'm not making it any easier, am I? So now I can use my copper spear to go fishing because I need to go fishing. Oh, I need to put my preferred verbs. Oh, I need a knife. Do I have enough? Oh, I do. I can use. I don't know that I made this. Nope. I'll do it. I'm pretty sure I don't have the um, cutting of fish. Need a knife. Well, let's, let's let's find out. Can I? I don't think I do. So will it? Will I get? Nope, can't. But now I create that thing. Now I can gut my fish. One there. Oh, I can go over here and I can cook the fish. One there. Okay. I go over here and A eats the fish. But the hunger Yeah, there's a lot of explaining. I don't I don't know that anybody's gonna actually want to play this. Because it's too it's too involved. It's too front loaded. You you cannot play unless you know a lot. But I really like it. I really like the game. Oh, don't know what I want to do about that yet. I will be right back. The only all I've got is all I've got is my my coffee. Hang on, I'm not. I'm actually drinking tea. I'm drinking tea. I'm gonna fill this up and unfill something else. Okay, we're back. And let me just while I'm thinking about it. 
um, the recipe for for skinning for getting fish and skinning rabbits for the matter. Flint, copper, bronze, iron, mithril, and unobtainium. Iron, mithril, and unobtainium. I'll just copy past you. Do the things. All done. That seems like a perfect. Oh, let's get rid of copy. Hi, you copy. We'll do. Let's check in. Changes. Crafting metal and and using metal tools. I'll push you in there. And mark you down on the Trello. Okay, you are done. You are done. So here's, here's a couple of things. Okay, let's make, to put you on deck. And no, let's not. Let's leave you up deck for now. Let's look at um well so here's so here's the problem right i have to make it so that so i've got documentation i got my i got my wiki up there the last thing I want to do is have to update it by hand. That that sucks a lot. So what I want to do is I want to make a um, a utility that will spit out my documentation based on based on what's in there. So I can just say run the thing and go right. So that is is my documenter. Are these all .NET Framework? I think they are. Everything's .NET Framework. Okay. There we go. Okay. Add new project F sharp console location. Got game to have explore. Get about auto docs. Okay, I'll take off Mr. Boilerplate. Set you as the start of project. And also set you up as property build event. Where's wait debug? So want to put in that is my root folder document root 
So argv is what? Argv is a put equals argv. That's actually an array, so I do the weird array thing. Argv. It's the same thing. Is that not the, that's not the same thing as string. Is that the same thing as string array or no? Argv, which makes you a g. Hey Zell, Zell worry. What's going on, Zell? Welcome to the stream. So glad you could make it. Well, I don't, I don't know how glad I am because you've only said hi. I'll, I'll determine later if I'm actually glad based on, <laughs> based on what else you might say. So that's a thing to say though. So glad you can make it. It's so insincere. Uh, uh, so how do I actually make it? Uh, okay, see, this is, I never use, I never use the argument list. I have sharp args list. For remain. Is it, oh, it's a list? Is that, no? Array, not a list. Oh, oh, okay, so it's gonna be dot zero. Is that correct? Okay, all right. Confusion over. It's I want it. That's that's for array literals. So now one really cool thing. Uh, first, I need to add a reference to Gadabout, and I need to um. Steep faster T. Well, first off, I can get to recipe dot. So we're going to go with document recipes. Document root. Oh, that's fine. Document. Recipes. File name. String. Unit. Is. It does some nothing. So. Okay. Recipe dot. Ooh, can I not just get to it? Oh, that sucks. Well, it's, that's going to change. Not be private anymore. Then why does it need to be? I mean, really. Dot recipes. And what does that give me? It gives me a list. So we shall list dot iter. Or actually not back my root. Dot iter. Um, call you document recipe. And what's document? Root. Let document recipe. Document root, which is a string, and a recipe, which is a recipe. Return unit and do some nothing. 
So. <clears throat> each of the recipes. <clears throat> but I think the way I want to do this was so how's it coming in to me? How's it how's that coming in? Like there's like a I'll use path thing. And the path dot combine okay. seems sounds legit. Path to document root. What? Okay. So this argument should be separated by spaces or tuppled. Yeah, I did that. I, I tuppled them. I tuppled the heck out of them. Oh. Haha. -ha. It thinks that path.combine and this tuple is the thing. Thanks so much. Thanks, I'm sure. Making, making things like path hard to use. Um, make recipe list. So I will document the recipes. Um, they don't have a name, do they? So that's and that's gonna be the thing. Okay, so I'm gonna file use um use app equals file create text. What do I take? Just takes a string and sprint of and s dot d also present as again we make path dot <clears throat> I don't use these things ever oh, I make, uh, we look things up File name C sharp with path. Best way to combine a path and a file name. Path dot get file name. Mm hmm. No, oh, I didn't combine it. Not to. So just path dot combine again. All right. Combine and this guy. I don't know how stupid this is gonna get. Document root and recipe dot Hmm. 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 Don't have names. Don't have names. They don't have names. What in the world? Okay. Quick. How do I make a file name? How do how, how do I how do I decide what the name is called? Do I have to give them a file? Okay. File file name. Or uh, call it a name. Let's we're gonna ask print of that sprint of. S dot MD. Which means recipe needs a name. Mm 
And welcome to this. All right. Name. String. Yeah. I don't I don't need that, do I? Static, I'm not static. Number um, instance name is as function now <clears throat> match instance. Nope, don't like it either. I really, sh I really should give them, give them names. Which kind of sucks, because that's a lot of work. This shouldn't be too bad though. Watch as I refactor code. Happy, but then you won't be happy in the what thing don't exist. Oh, you know what? these could theoretically okay so this is this this is a good exercise yep. I'll call you Workbench. Call your altar. Craft wall. Maybe what I do these are all X. <clears throat> and then I combine them all together. So that might be interesting. Which means I might go about this a very a slightly different way. But I think for sanity. I don't need that much of a blizzard of of things like this. Because do I do I need Do I really need a different 
one for each type of spear because they're very similar. Watch as the amazing grumpy game dev types in a bunch of strings. Yes, today I'm the grumpy game dev. Strings! Lots of them! I do. This is going to be great. This is going to be great. Almost there. Almost there. This be great because then I'll automatically be able to Also bone meal. You are well, more bone meal. Up oh, to do. Oh, oh, this one bone meal too. Well, might as well put the other ones. <clears throat> so let's point. Copper, bronze, iron, mithril, unobtainium. Not sure I follow you, knife and hammer. I'm not sure I follow how it's a nice English lesson.
I'm sure it's funny. <laughs> I just don't get it. And death roll. Um, of the here's no oh, so specifically for mono game or um or what because I I recently I consolidated all my stuff right um this one's public this one's public good okay so there's this one this does this one use mono game I think it does. Yeah, this one uses, this one is a good one, that's a good one, and and then the F sharp small games one, which I've given you, uh, and then within, within this, within the small games, Which one was the most recent? So maybe Wander Maze. Maybe here. Wander Maze. Because how, how much is this one? Ooh, I used a used an active pattern. So yeah, within and then within uh, within this repo, I recommend um, do the one called the one called Wander Maze because they are it's, it's pretty it's pretty straightforward. There's not a lot of fluff to it, so there's like okay, that's exactly how we need to do things. Well, that's exactly one one way of doing things and it happens to be mine and if it also works for you then good for you and if it doesn't work for you then it works for me on obtainium fire fire Fire. More fire. Magic fire. And copper ingot. Bronze. Which or should I just say ingot? Beautiful thing is I can change it around later. I can do that. And the unobtainium ingot. So, okay. So everything's got a name, right? It's going to blow up on me. Well, blows up on me, blows up on me. So, before we do this, we're going to list.partition. Been a long while since I've used list dot partition. No, not partition. What do I want? I don't want two collection. Ah. So, what I'm going to do, well, actually, I'll do this, okay. Uh, 
now I have to now I have to think. I have to think about so I got recipe that recipes. Now let's look at the F sharp list module just for a second. Which thing do I want? Well, I want the following returns might be this one. But I don't want that. I want It's going to be a map dot folder. See some serious stuff right here. Contains the key, then going to act dot add the item recipe dot name. Value is going to be recipe um, okay. Analyze act dot add recipe dot name. Now recipe list list. Um, don't, don't need that. Okay. So act is a map that's be string dot add values. Oh, act. Up that add you're going to work, right? I'm using the wrong ad. I'm using the wrong ad. Okay. Everybody clear on what I did there? Or the one one person who's here. You clear? And what I did there? <laughs> Everybody clear. Ugh. Uh. 
Oh, nothing drives them off. Oh, like a good fold. <laughs> if we flee, we flee from the folding. <sighs> yeah. Document recipe. It's okay. It here's 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 the truth, Mark. Here's the truth. Um, watching a person go through a fold, and if that if the person watching is not a functional developer, uh, they're like, I don't I don't understand what you're doing. It's it's a fold, and people don't get it, and that's okay. One, one of these times, uh, one, one of the hopes is people will go, oh, wow, that's cool, man. But, you know, try, try to explain, try to explain this list fold, this, this list fold to a, to a C-sharp developer. And they were like, um, no, I don't, no, I don't get it. And it's okay. And it's totally okay. There's a couple there's a couple of functional folks that wander by from time to time. Uh, name string recipes recipe list. But I'm glad you're here. Then I'm not alone. Right? Got a recipe nine. Recipe nine. Oh. Well, it's K. Just K. Good old K. All right. Yeah, because people who can do folds are like, oh, hey, that's, that's good. And then the people who can't do folds are like, what bizarre sorcery are you using? Well, what are you... Did, Imperative developers, right? So now I've got um, so use uh, writer goals. Well, that create text, create text. At this point, I could sprint if, right? No, I still want to use path that combine. Mint root. S dot B. And must be name. Got our stream writer. Cool. <clears throat> Time to side effect all over ourselves in the, in in making a file. It's okay. We're returning unit. We can side effect all we want when we return unit, right? There's consistency. That's why I still talk about F sharp. I'm not sure I ever use them, but this is okay too. Yeah. 
it's the see, it's like it's about the immutability once you get to like oh this is immutable and i cannot change those things and 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 get the answer wrong if that stuff suddenly changes in the middle of what i'm doing so it's i can it's a it's a trust it's about trust i trust the inputs because they are immutable so i don't think any any other thread somewhere is just going to change stuff and that's that's what i like Okay, so we naturally have the right line. Def percent uh, S. Okay, so I'm going to take that you take this moment to <laughs> to say a small prayer and go. Does it? Well, I guess I don't have. I need a recipes folder. Is that what I did? New. Right, and so. If this works, I should see a bunch of little files that just have the title on them. Nope. So, where'd they go? Nope. Of course, because Doc actually, uh, no, that's right. Then go in. Did you? Document root, which is that? Oh, it's gonna be yeah, about wiki. Oh, it's only gonna be there. Ha ha. Ugh. Ugh. Hoops. All right. That's right. I forgot to do this thing. Com but comparing the same game written in C sharp and F sharp, I'm not sure that the F sharp code is more clean. <sighs> it is, and here's why. You don't have all. You don't have all the curly braces. You don't have all the unnecessary lines. So it's it, at the very least you've got shorter code, and that's something. Be right. Be right back. Got to go to the loot. So yeah, I say I say you stick you stick with it. 
because you seem to be of the more, because of your Haskell stuff, you seem to be more of a uh, functionally bent developer. So that's, that's your jam. Stick with your jam, man. And also remember this. The only way you get good at something is by spending a bunch of time being bad at it. Hope that makes sense. This, for example, I just pooped all over the road. Uh, pooped all over it. So, I don't need these. Yeah, don't need those. Now let's see if they get pooped in the right place. Poop them in the right place. Oh, don't need that anymore. Keep going. You keep going. Oh, could not find part of the path. Oh, recipe. I'm doing it wrong. Okay, recipes. And yay! And it should just say something like knife. Yes, it does. All right. What do I put for like a horizontal line break? So get my mark down. What do I want? So I want I go. A horizontal rule. That's what I want. So, horizontal rule. Three or more hyphens, asterisks, or underscores. Okay. So, beginning of each one. And recipes. Recipes. Stop later. On recipe. Oh, you found that? That's old. And I wasn't as grumpy then. <laughs> uh, but if it helps you, that's great. Um, it was, it was a long time ago. Well, not a long time ago. It was like 2016, but totally enjoy that. And I will tell you, I don't, I don't teach F sharp correctly. I teach it in a, here, here's a thing you can use, do something with it kind of fashion rather than. Well, purity and immutability and so on and so forth. It's more of a, that's not how I learn. I don't learn by like, oh, well, here's, here's this wall of stuff that you need. And because you don't, you really don't. And I don't like people who front load. That's, that's for sure. Uh, 
but what else do I have? I got uh, uh, yeah, inputs, outputs, and um, limitations. Now, this is still just blank and boilerplate, but should be a lot bigger for things. There we go. Things like X should now have a bunch of, bunch of places. Yes, sir. We'll take a look, because now, this deal. These need to be two. So actually, I don't think I need that horizontal break. I don't think I like it anyway. I'll tell you what, an automatic documenter. This is this is way better. Input outputs inputs. I should put inputs. It should be inputs. For this one, this is going to be difficult. <clears throat> so I can get my recipe dot. Input to an inventory dot table. All right. I might be able. Okay. So let's start up a table. If I can get anything at all, this would be cool. Okay. So those are my headers. So my item type and how many of them. Not good. Okay. And in theory, the outputs are really exactly the same. Ooh. 
nice. So like the axe. Oh yeah. Oh yes. This. This is. I don't think I need the. I don't think I need the wine then, do I? I don't think I need these. We'll find out real quick, right? Look at that. Should get some graphics on here too, I think. Maybe I need the horizontal rule after. Yeah, I think I do. Get a good separator. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's not great documentation, but it's better than nothing. So I go here to ingot. Put it on the chain or in the, in the ingot. So, this is where, <clears throat> so in the limitations, this is where I gotta, gotta do some, do some thinking about how do I detect which function is being used. And I'll figure it out. But, so, well, well, Merrick, thanks for stopping. Thanks for, thanks for hanging with me this morning. Um, I gotta get out of here, so I gotta, gotta check things in. So I gotta um, update it with Autodocs. And you go up there. And here's changes. And started auto docking. making up a word yeah uh, I'm not certain that I'm going to be back tomorrow I think I'm going on a break for the weekend because I got because I got things so get off my lawn I guess I don't know bye